I grew up on all the Sly and I know when I like to talk that. I, I grew up on, on, on Sly's records. I mean, it seems like I would have to reference so the a drummer for what you don't want to say. Having some of the original members from that band was a real treat for me. You know, creating the studio, part of the deal was to bring in all kinds of people from all over the place. So it was really exciting to have those people in the studio. Being founder of the original band, my mind said to me, Jerry, why don't you look into this? I did, and I liked what I saw. And when I came down here to play, I played from my heart. At the end of Destiny, you went on past the music into the click, and you played this this solo just to the click. Mm -hmm. That's a true story right there. Music tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, we're gonna keep this one little line right here because this is the hip thing. And I would be like, I don't know, I don't think that's the best, you know, whatever. And you found a way to kind of extract the essence. Your solo worked perfectly over the original sample. Let me, let me play you. When I was working with Sly, he had this laptop setup he was using, and I had Pro Tools running in the next room and microphones set up everywhere. It was basically like trying to capture lightning in a bottle. Right. Then there was this eighth-inch cable I had plugged into his laptop, mm -hmm. so I was able to record whatever was happening on his computer. Sometimes, as you know, he'll scrap ideas. He'll do something brilliant. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then go, hey, you know, I don't like this, and delete it. But luckily, we were able to capture those by having this eighth-inch jack in his laptop. The problem with that is that there's no separation on it. Yeah. Well, like, well, we can only hear the, the mix. The Technology has. has not advanced that far yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish.